Thomas wasn't a really useful engine, go figure, but there was one engine built to be nothing more than a showpiece and yet became far more useful than it was ever intended to be. In 1886, the Caledonian Railway in Scotland had a single driving wheel locomotive built to represent the railway and their head engineer, Douglas Drummond, at the International Exhibition of Industry, Science and Art held in Edinburgh that year. At this point, locomotives with single driving wheels were out of date and being replaced by engines with two sets of driving wheels because they had better traction and could achieve higher top speeds, so the engine's only real purpose was just to look fancy and pull a few carriages. Later, in 1888, it was used for publicity in the famous Races to the North, where rail companies on the East and West Coast main lines competed to have the fastest times travelling from London to Edinburgh. The engine ran a service along a 100 mile stretch of line, pulling 2-3 to three carriages and frequently averaged around 50 miles an hour, managing to make one trip in 101 minutes, meaning the engine was literally going about a mile a minute. It was also used the entire month the races were happening, pulling the northbound express every day for four weeks, not only showing it was fast, but also reliable. After that, it was retained mostly for special duties, such as double-heading express trains and pulling working inspectors and directors trains. It also acted as a pilot for royal trains, running 15 minutes ahead of the actual train to ensure that the line was clear and safe. When the Caledonian Railway was merged with the LMS, the engine was still used for directors trains, but was eventually put back into regular service pulling passengers on the Dundee to Perth main line. It was withdrawn from service in 1935, being the last single driving engine working in the country and was preserved. It was restored to working order by British Rail in 1958 to run rail tours and pull enthusiast specials until the end of steam in Scotland. It now rests in the Riverside Museum as a static exhibit. Despite only being built as an exhibit showpiece and being outdated before it was even finished, it still showed the world that just because something's old-fashioned doesn't mean it's useless. Subscribe for more.